time, Heavenly Hedgehog. We are starting a bit late today, entirely my own fault. I estimated wrong on my fabric, and so when I had to go back to the store today, I almost couldn't find it. And I got the last bit off the last roll of this lavender fleece, the only roll of that color that I could find. <sighs> And then, of course, Exfoot has to update, and then Skype's giving me trouble. But here we are. Oh, hello, Kitty. Thank you so much for joining me. How are you doing this afternoon? Let me see if I can turn on Twitch alerts over here so I can actually see what's going on. Twitch alerts. Will you let me be logged in in two places, Twitch Alerts? We're going to find out. Launch. Oh, yes. So, we're going to be working on Paco hoodie. And now that we were doing the uh, pattern last time, next. This is how disorganized I am today. I am just all over the place. <laughs> Also, everything's weird because I've got contacts instead of glasses, so everything's too big. Everything's just too big and it's weirding me out. <laughs> All right, do that. I don't need so slow. And launch. Yes, do that. Ah, good enough. Good enough, good enough. Got some foam for later. Got orange thread I don't need anymore. Now I have cut out most of what I need for today. I did not manage to cut out all of it. Is the stream still going? Yeah. Okay, thank you. <sighs> so we're gonna finish cutting it out. And then we're going to start sewing. That's where I am. I'm sorry. I'm so scattered. <sighs> Do you have anything you're working on? I would love to hear about it. Impress me with your amazing crafty ways. Oh, my heels. Yes. Oh, no. You're sick. I'm sorry about that. But I'm glad you're having fun anyway. I hope you get better soon. I know uh, hot water with lemon and honey works for me. Twitter, Twitter, you are awful right now. Thank you. But thank you to whoever followed me on Twitter. <laughs> All right. Where was it? Like I said, completely disorganized mess today. So one of the problems that I ran into with this was that the sleeves were so long that I couldn't arrange things properly on the fabric. Um, so that's why I had to go run back to the store and get more. So if I do make another one, I'm going to make it so that there's some sort of a detailing here so that I can cut off the rest of the sleeve and put that in a better, more favorable place on the fabric for cutting out so that I'm not wasting quite so much. If you're using a pattern um, from, you know, something that you purchased, a lot of times those will have guidelines for how you can lay stuff out to be uh, the most, to be most efficient with your fabric and your cutting and all that. However, when you are making your own patterns, you don't have that luxury. Oh. I'm sorry, you can barely swallow your medicine. And a hi, Squishy. How are you doing? Thanks for dropping in. Mm. All right. I think I managed to avoid the stains. I got an extra, I got the end of the fabric for half off. And there's stains on it. I didn't see that in the store. So I think I managed to avoid all those. But it's still very sad. <laughs> no, I got that kitty. I didn't think that you said I hated you. But I know that you got to be feeling awful if you can barely swallow your medicine. All right. 
So I just traced everything out with Sharpie and I'm cutting inside the lines. You can get fabric pens um, specifically for drawing out your patterns. And for the most part, they erase or they come off in the wash with a little bit of water. Um, be careful using them on white because ink doesn't like to come out of white even if it says it will. All right, get to all those fiddly bits later. Oh, you're writing, Squishy. What are you writing? What are you writing? It's always nice to discover a talent isn't dead. I recently discovered my talent for drawing isn't quite dead. That was encouraging discovery. I'm sorry, I need to face this way more so you're not just staring at a curtain of hair. Just so you guys know, and because it makes me feel all important to say it, um, I am on call today for emergency babysitting duty. So if I get that call, the stream will end early. Um, a friend of mine is hopefully going into labor. She's been miserable for days. Oh, what's going on? <laughs> Good for you, Squishy. Good for you. You defend Vidasi. Yes, I will be, I know nothing about children, but I will be more than happy to babysit my friend's daughter if it means that she can finally finish creating a new life and get any sleep again. Uh, <laughs> I'll check that out later, Squishy. Oh, the internet. Oh, the internet. I think it was an XKCD comic with um, one of the two little stick figures. One of them was like, oh no, I can sense it. Somebody's wrong on the internet. You could go run off and tell them they're wrong. I'm sorry, that's what came up for me when you were talking about that squishy. Really? Where it flashes? What does it flash? Is it just that it it lags suddenly? Or I don't know. But thank you for the warning. This will cut out. So I have a lot of fabric in my lap right now. Hopefully this won't take too long. And then we can get right to the fun part of putting everything together. I don't think I've worn contacts since PAX Prime. This is really weird for me. I used to wear contacts all the time, but then my allergies started getting worse and my eyes got too sensitive and I got too lazy. So, I've been on full-time glasses for, I think, three years now. I only have contacts for when I cosplay. What's going on? Thank you. <laughs> You're going to be the best, Vidasi. That's a good goal to have, Squishy. My goal is to be a pretty good Sven. What was I saying? What was I saying? Right. But yeah, I have to have contacts at least for when I'm cosplaying because I am so blind. <laughs> I, I can barely see my hand clearly when it's this far from my face. So... If I don't have something to help me see when I'm cosplaying, when I don't have my glasses on, I am getting nothing out of that convention. 
And I'm a perfectionist, so I don't... I just can't wear glasses with a cosplay that doesn't have glasses. That's just me. There's nothing wrong if you can't wear contacts um, with just wearing your glasses, somehow fitting them into your cosplay. Um, but I just can't do it. <laughs> oh, it flashes black? Oh, weird. Hmm. Well, hopefully that doesn't happen over here. And there's no way to fix it, huh? All right, so the fabric I'm cutting out right now is a polar fleece, I believe. It's really smooth. Um, it doesn't have that fuzziness, but the rest of the fleece that I got does. Um, I just settled for that because I'm only making it for myself, so I don't particularly care if the fabrics don't quite match up because this was the more correct purple. Um, the lightest purple in the fuzzy fleece was just too dark. It was too dark, you guys. It didn't look right. Just like how I don't care if my dogs jump on me, I don't care if the fleece doesn't quite match. Let's see, almost. By the way, be careful with your set, your sewing scissors. I cut my pajama pants this morning. I like those pants too. <laughs> now they've got a hole in them because I wasn't careful. So you always watch out for your fingers and your clothes and extra bits of fabric because I don't want to suddenly cut holes into something that I don't want holes cut into because I don't have enough fabric left to cut out another piece. So try to be aware. I failed, but I've relearned my lesson. Mm, really? You don't like crafting, Squishy? Well, I think it's not for everyone. I like it, though. And I'm really happy that streaming has gotten me working on more stuff. Because I'm so lazy, I don't do stuff for myself. I'm just like, eh, that would be a nice idea. But no, I could just lie here and read manga instead. <laughs> but thanks to streaming and the need for content, I'm more productive than ever. And I am so annoyed that I'm starting an hour late today. I have been doing so well with only being up to 15 minutes late up, up till now. But I just couldn't wake up earlier this morning. Between two seven hour drives and three days and daylight savings time, I just, I couldn't, I had to sleep in. But I'm one of those people who needs nine hours of sleep. Let's see. And one of these days I'll get music on the stream. I just still haven't done it. Sorry, listen to your own music. Let's go. Oh, yeah, left-handed. I've heard that's hard. Being right-handed, I'm just like, well, why don't you just make it work? <laughs> because I don't know your pain. So I'm sorry, Squishy. I know people make right-handed stuff, or left-handed stuff, but these are most definitely right-handed scissors. I can tell that much. There we go. Ta da! All right, so this is a little extra, so this can go back in the bag. Oh, don't die, kitty! Don't die! Have you tried? 
hot showers and letting the steam help you out? I don't know. It sounds like you've got an awful cold. What's going on? Yeah, I know. I've tried left-handed scissors with my right hand, and that didn't work either. It's a shame that the crafting tool production people are so biased against left-handed people. the tricky part. The loopy bits. So if you follow me on Twitter, you may have seen when I was adjusting the pattern. Um, I just took some packing tape and scraps and taped the stuff onto the bottom, undid a few seams, cut a little bit here and there, just to get more of the shape that I wanted and to adjust the hem and all that. And then drew on it with a Sharpie to figure out where my details were going. And I just used a Sharpie to trace everything out because I had a Sharpie. So I'm just cutting inside the lines and all the Sharpie bits are gonna go on the underside if I can help it. And again, this is just for me. Uh, if I were making this for someone else, I would have been a lot more careful and likely used a pencil or an actual, you know, fabric erasing marker instead of Sharpie. Or maybe I would have been more careful with the Sharpie and not just been like, eh, good enough. <laughs> oh, goodness. A mug that spells on you if you use your right hand. It's funny. Uh, we're almost done cutting, I promise. <sighs> so what's been going on? Yeah, we had a long drive down to Southern California for a friend's wedding. Someone that I've known since high school, which I'm not going to tell you how long ago that was. <laughs> Longer than I like to think. Um, she looked so happy and her husband did too. And that's what matters. And it was, it was very them. <laughs> lots of food, lots of alcohol, lots of fanciness and show. It was very them. I will say some of the groom's friends were very loud, <sighs> especially whenever football came up and as a non-sports ball person myself, I'm just like, why are you screaming about football? It's the fifth time. I don't know. I, it just doesn't make any sense to me. I don't get it. If it makes sense to you, good for you. Oh, what happened? What happened? Jacob, thank you for hosting. How are you doing this afternoon? I am just cutting out the last bits that I need for my Paco hoodie because things just I didn't have enough fabric. I just didn't have enough fabric and I discovered it at 2 in the morning last night and then I couldn't wake up this morning. But yeah, so we drove down to Southern California. We had a little bit of car trouble. What's going on? Oh, I'm glad that meditation works for you. You keep with it. Stay calm. I 
You know, a throat that sore can be really debilitating. So what I'm going to do with the Paco hoodies, I'm not going to finish any of the edges pretty much. Because this is fleece, it's not going to shred. So I don't need to worry about that. And because of all the details and the scalloped hem, um, trying to finish off those edges would be just too much work. I don't want to do it. So I'm going to embrace the raw edge and just make it work for me. All right, let's see, let's see. Yes, car trouble. <sighs> don't know what happened. But there's this thing on the bottom of your car, it's like a splash shield, and it keeps stuff from getting kicked up into your engine. We were about an hour and a half away from home, in the middle of nowhere, and it fell off. <laughs> but it didn't fall off completely, and it did not fall off in one solid piece. So we're driving, we're driving, we go over a patch of sand, and all of a sudden we hear this horrible noise, and this thunking and dragging. We're just like, oh no, what happened? And we'd been going through a construction zone, so we didn't know if maybe something had popped a tire. We just didn't know. Maybe something got stuck in the wheel well. By the time we managed to find a rest area, because we did not want to stop on the side of the road. The car was still, the car was still moving. We didn't want to be on the freeway. We didn't want to stop and then find out we couldn't move again. So we wanted to get somewhere where there were people in case that happened. We get there and we stop and look underneath the car. And there's two things hanging down. <laughs> because that shield had split down the middle and half the clips had fallen out. So there was just dragging. And so they're dragging two ways and one is just going like this and the other is kicking stuff up into the engine. And then we had to call a tow truck because we couldn't get under the car to take it the rest of the way off because he's got a Honda and it's like that far off the ground. We couldn't fit under there. So we had to call a tow truck so we could use their jack and their tools to get that thing off the car. And that took like an hour. An hour added on to an already long drive. And the dogs were so good. They were such good puppies. They didn't bark at the tow truck guy, and they just slept in the car the whole way. I'm so proud of them. Now, what have I missed over here? Oh, good for you getting sleep when you're sick. Oh, I'm sorry, kitty. I hope the coughing doesn't keep you up too much. I know I've had those colds and I've had to prop myself up nearly upright and it's hard to sleep in because like I couldn't breathe. So I get it. And I'm sorry you have to go through that. I hope you heal up soon. All right, we got the front pieces. So what we're going to do now. We may start with just sewing on the zipper. So this fabric, it's not the purple. I couldn't find that same purple, so I chose it to fairly match this blue. As Joanne's zipper selections are limited, especially in separating sport zippers, so I chose whatever color worked best. Oh, first. First. I have to make my bobbins. Yeah. Ovens. Luckily, I've used this fabric before, so I've already got my purple. Do I have a purple bobbin? I have a purple bobbin. And let's see. I've got my blue. I've got my more different blue. And what else do I need? I will need this pink. I will need, that might be the only pink I've got. Oops, oops, no, 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 ha, I've got hot pink in here. So I'm gonna be hand sewing some details on there because it looks like I need to. Cause this is a silk thread, I think. 
Or at the very least, it's old thread, and I don't want to force it through the machine. By the way, I found my pins! They were exactly where I left them. Where I'd forgotten. Okay, first, I need this purple. And we're going to set the zipper on. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to end up putting this together. I haven't thought too much about it, but I do need a different needle. This needle is a regular point needle, and that means if I use it in the fleece, it's going to skip stitches, and that's going to piss me off. And that is why we have ballpoint needles. You're going to want to use ballpoint needles anytime you're using something stretchy. Basically, anytime you're using a fabric that doesn't shred. Don't ask me why. There's something about the stretchy fabrics that just doesn't work with a pointy needle. Or at least catching up on some TV shows while you're sick, kitty. Get this in here. I'm also going to be using a very wide stitch because I don't want things to pucker. Um, and the fleece does have a lot of body on its own, so it doesn't need all those little stitches, in my opinion. I could be entirely wrong, but I'm going to do what I want to do. By the way, in case you couldn't tell, I keep things in so many different containers. I do not maintain an organizational system. I don't know why. Alright, now, pins. So I'm probably going to want to cut this, or at least sew it down like that. Oh, ooh, ooh. do I need my zipper foot? I don't know, because it's not an invisible zipper, and the zipper foots are mainly for invisible zippers. Because I don't want to go too close to the edge here, so I think I'm going to stick with the normal zipper. No, I should do a zipper foot. I should do a zipper foot. No, where's my stuff? Where's my feet? Where are my feet? How do you do a red one? There we go. So that's typically where stuff can get fit in. Heart of Glass, thank you so much for the follow. I hope you're having a good crafternoon. What are you up to this afternoon? You working on anything awesome? I'd love to hear about it. What am I looking for? What am I looking for? Zipper foot. I'm looking for the zipper foot. Minecraft Diaries. Does she tell it like a story? Or is it just exploring Minecraft? Where's my zipper foot? I've got a plastic foot. What are you? Mystery. Zipper foot? You are not a zipper foot. Zipper foot? Not quite. I did find more bobbins. Well, this is a zipper foot which I never knew I had. We'll try it out. It's for a singer though, and I've got a brother now. So it probably won't work. I've also got a two point needle. Where is 
to my zipper foot. I'm finding this very distressing. here. There is nowhere else my zipper foot should be. <sighs> mm, yeah, there's not a chance this is fitting on there. I don't know what this is, but it's not conducive to what I want to do. Back into hem foot. I've lost my zipper foot. This makes me really sad. I know the last time I used it, I think, and then it's just gone. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to move on. Mm -hmm. Why is this little pouch noisy and empty? Putting everything back. I've got a quilting foot, I've got a freeform foot. Whatever foot this is. No, oh, no, that's the foot I've been using. That's the J. Yeah. Put that back on. What a bummer. I've got a butt foot. Always handy for if you need to make buttonholes. Hmm. I cannot tell you how annoyed I am right now that I cannot find my zipper foot. More needles. Sure, go there. Go there. I don't care. All right. So let's make sure we've got everything facing the proper direction. How do I tell that? I don't know. I'm just going to make it up. All right. So that's going to be forward because there's a bit of Sharpie on the other side. And that's what determines what our right side is right now. Okay. I need to cut a little bit off there, and then just a little bit off there. We're going to make sure the zipper is facing the right way. And I'm just going to fold that under because I don't want it to be that far down. I think this is the only zipper that doesn't come with installation instructions, which is interesting. And it's a separating zipper, so that makes things a little bit easier, but also you need to make sure that you're taking the time to get everything lined up properly. Nothing's worse than finishing your zipper and finding out it doesn't go together right. And it would help to open up my pins first. Uh, I'm telling you, I am such a scatterbrain today. Now, I know I did a lot of looking at Kigurumi's um, when I was thinking about this Paco sweater, and I know that a lot of those are put together with buttons in the front or like little snaps. I just didn't feel like hand sewing snaps, so that's why I'm going with a zipper. But if you like the snaps look better, just make sure you give yourself that extra inch so you can overlap everything and take your time lining up your snaps. I find it helpful to put a little, like rub some chalk or um, some a pencil 
on one of your snaps. So you get one half all installed, snap them together, rub chalk on the back side, and then lay it down where it's supposed to go. And that way you can see where the snap is supposed to be. But I find sewing snaps on very tedious and I just didn't want to do it. So one thing to keep in mind with your fabrics um, is if they're stretchy, luckily fleece isn't particularly stretchy. It does have a little, oh, it is stretchy. Let me rephrase that, it is stretchy. Um, so make sure when you're laying it down that you are not stretching it. Because that can give you baggy seams later on because if you stretch it while you're sewing, it's gonna end up with a longer stitch line and so it's gonna be all rippling and it's not gonna look right. It can be helpful to use interfacing um, or to use a plastic foot. I think that works for that too. I'm not entirely sure. I'm just making that up. I know it works for vinyl and leather. Um, or you can sandwich your stuff in between two peach pieces of um, gift wrap tissue paper. That'll keep things from stretching and slipping. It just makes it glide through better. That's right. I couldn't find a 20 inch zipper. I ended up with 24 inches. So now I need to change how I'm tackling this. <sighs> so this is going to make things a little bit more difficult because now I have to line it up on the bottom and the bottom doesn't have as nice of a lineup line as the top does because it's curved, it's scalloped. Where on this am I putting the zipper? That is something I need to figure out. Also, there's Sharpie here. Let's cut that off. I'm totally going to regret using the Sharpie. <laughs> Alright, so I've got my zipper facing the right way. And I'm lining these two up. But I can see where they come together. That's about right there. Move it up just a smidge from there. And then we pin again. Now, if you are sewing an invisible zipper in, it is incredibly helpful to have a zipper foot. Um, what it is, is it doesn't have this little side thing. There's a little like eighth inch side thing um, that keeps you from getting as close to the zipper as you would like. Instead, it's got that cut off and it's raised so that you can actually get right up there. Is it in here? Revelation, I found the zipper foot. <laughs> I'm happy again. I was worried. I need my zipper foot. What was I, what was I gonna do if I couldn't find it? I'd have to buy a new one. Ooh. That's a bit of a lumpy line. I don't actually need to do this, but I'm going to. The fleece is pretty forgiving um, because it is, it doesn't fray and it holds its shape really well. But it is a little stretchy, so you want to keep that in mind. Because once it stretches, it's probably not going to stretch back very well. Okay, now the fun part, cutting the zipper. 
So I made sure to line up the bottom edge of the zipper because that's the important part. This is a uh, sports pull-away zipper, so it separates. I mean, it's a separating zipper. It's probably this. So if I were to cut off the bottom, it would no longer go back together. The top, however, that's less important. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it down, and then I'm just going to leave a bunch of stitches around the top here to keep the zipper from just flying off the end. It's just committing to that cut that's the hard part. There we go. So I'm just going to cut it off now and I'll do those stitches later. But make sure you do those stitches because otherwise that zipper's coming off and it's a pain in the ass to get it back on. Oh, are you writing a bunch? Oh, I don't see it. I'm sorry. All right, let's turn this on. Switch to the zipper foot. So this is a zipper foot. As you can see, it is different from the normal sewing fit foot that I was using because it's got those bare sides and you can set the needle on either side of it so that you're working on the proper, you know, as close to your zipper as you can get. stitch length to three and a half, I think. We're gonna try that. Oh, <laughs> wrong side. There we go. down where I was expecting it to go down. No, can't do that. It has to go there. In which case, why did it, why is it moving over? Oh, because I'm on 10, I'm not on one. 10 starts off an awful lot, a very close place to one. About Alfmau, who goes around helping other lords and ladies of villages. Okay. Sounds like fun. Where is the Missy River? All right, hello there, Mike. Hope you're having a good craft or new one. Lady of Phoenix drop until war broke out and got transferred to a different realm. Mm. Yeah, I had to buy a new seam ripper because I broke mine. I somehow snapped off the pointy bit. I don't know how. But I did because I'm special like that. So I got a bigger seam ripper this time in the hopes that it will be easier on my hands. Oh, number two, I prefer dogs, Mike. I have both, but I prefer dogs. All right, let's try this again on the correct stitch this time. Moving that back up to three and a half. I may switch it to four later, I don't know. Oh, the whole time disparity thing, huh? Yes, that is correct. There we go. 
So I'm making sure to back stitch at the beginning so that my thread doesn't come out and I don't have to knot it because it's not quite as secure. I'll come out. And make sure you don't sew over your pins. Um, I know you'll see that a lot in Hollywood, you know, TV movies, if you ever see sewing. And it may be something that just feels more natural just to sew through it. You can snap your needles that way if they hit the pins just right, or you can bend them that can mess up your machine a little bit. Are you trying to get me to bark like a dog, Mike? I'm not gonna bark like a dog. In the latest episode, she was rebuilding the Phoenix Alliance and making a whole new village. I have fun. I like it when people use games to tell stories. I know that machinima, or uh, there's a lot of machinima stuff like that. And there I go, sewing up my needle. Luckily, I missed it. Probably then? I'm not gonna do it, though. accurately simulate a dog's yip, but you don't want to hear that because it might hurt your ears. <laughs> Temporary human happiness. <laughs> 14 out of 2 diagnosis, exceptional human female. Thank you, I think. I'm not entirely sure what's going on. I do like dogs. <laughs> I appreciate your commitment to what you're doing. <laughs> the Compatible Humor Human Award. <laughs> for stopping in. You made me giggle. I can get behind that. <laughs> so I am having to stop periodically and lift my foot up because the fabric is bunching and I don't want to leave that until the end and I don't want it to suddenly go over the bunch and then I've got a wrinkle in my seam. And I'm going slow because I want to make sure this zipper goes on properly. I don't want to mess it up. It's important. And please, if you're working on something, I'd love to hear about it. Amaze me with your crafty powers. If you're not quite crafting, but you're working on something else amazing, maybe you're writing, I don't know, let me know. There we go. I'm a bit faster than I meant to that time. <laughs> Whether what you're working on is being a robot in Twitch and making people smile, that's awesome too. <laughs> Alright, kitty. Will you get some sleep? I hope you feel better in the morning, and I hope that your cough doesn't keep you up. I'll see you later, alright? Go. 
And yes, I know sewing is not very exciting, but it has to be done. And don't be afraid to learn how to sew. Um, there's tons of tutorials on YouTube. There are a lot of actually very affordable sewing machines nowadays. Um, none of them will have that same lasting power as the older machines, but you can get a lot of nice functions on these new ones. Also, if maybe all you have access is to, a, the only thing you have access to is a 20 year old machine, go for it. I was using that until my dog chewed through the cord and I had to get a new one. I still have it as my backup one, by the way, because my father-in-law managed to splice that cord back together. So. So I it's just, it's not as intimidating as it needs to be. It, or, that's not, that didn't make sense. It's not as intimidating as it may seem. All right, got one half of the zipper on. <sighs> now to figure out the other half. All right, so let's line things up up here. And just ease my way down the zipper. That's pretty close. I also found a bit more Sharpie I need to cut off. All right, all right, found the spot. Thread. All right, so I've got it marked out where the bottom of the zipper needs to fall. I'm going to put this aside for now. Okay, so the one I already did is this one. Making sure I get everything lined up properly so I don't have to undo everything I do. All right, this one's gonna be a little trickier because this has this big blocky thing that's gonna get in the way at the start of the, uh, the seam, the start of the line. Keep that up there, keep that out of the way. One of the handy things about having more zippers is that I can get the uh, actual zippy bit out of the way. Oh, you might stream later. You're gonna stream some gigantic or something else. I was thinking about doing a gigantic stream between this one and gigantic cosplay, but then I got started an hour late, so I don't know if I'm gonna manage it anymore. in there. Something about pinning in this direction is not working for me. Where do I keep getting these needles? There we go. Ah. Pins everywhere. So when I'm sewing this, I want to make sure that I'm not coming the opposite direction on the zipper um, because the fabric can stretch. So if you make sure that you're sewing, like with a corset, how you're sewing a whole bunch of panels together, don't sew this way and then this way and then this way and then this way because they're not going to line up quite properly. Always sew the same direction. All right, well, thank you for stopping by, Squishy. I may drop in on you later, and I hope that you have some good matches. So I am just 
just gonna pin this and hopefully not stab myself. Although at some point along the way you just resign yourself to being stabbed. I mean, you're dealing with pins, it's gonna happen. All right. I am really hoping that things pick up once I get the zipper in. <laughs> because I want Twitter, stop alerting me to things. Goodness. And yes, I'm still in the same setup. I've got my phone Skyping to my computer, and I've got my Surface over here with the uh, chat pulled up. But I managed to remember my login this time, so I actually have mod powers and access to Twitch alerts, so I can actually see any follows. One day, we'll get a wireless card for our old computer and get it set up in here, but that day has not arrived yet. There we go. I'm always nervous about doing zippers because in some fabrics they can get all wrinkly, especially when they're long. If you you know, if you're not sure about it, you can always kind of stitch it in by hand. Just do some basting stitches, which is very wide, long stitches, just to kind of tack it in there and then go over it with your machine. Which I do that a lot when I do invisible zippers because I want to make sure those get lined up properly. Because if I can see it, then why did I get an invisible zipper, right? Okay, so I'm going to move the foot over. What? Nope. Failed. Failed. Okay. <sighs> Deep breath and let's start sewing. Surface. I did not tell you to turn off. Now sewing this way is a bit less, a bit more awkward for me, but I'll manage. not to dump my pins everywhere. We'll see what happens. It's always a pretty safe bet that I'm going to dump my pins on any given project. So we have been watching Young Justice on Netflix. We finally got our own account. Um, I'm enjoying it. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of DC Comics. Um, Marvel has always felt more real to me, <laughs> if that makes any sense when you're dealing with stuff with superpowers, but I really enjoy Young Justice. Um, Batman, the, the Brave and the Bold was also really good, and Justice League Unlimited, we enjoyed that too. Uh, this is not working properly. There we go. Again, stopping periodically to lift the foot and resettle the fabric and not moving too fast. Okay, I think we're halfway through, or probably more than halfway through season two of um, Young Justice right now. The thing is, we went into season two, completely forgot what happened in season one. <laughs> Didn't remember a thing. And it was slightly important. But I recommend it. Right. Shut 
cutting more of the uh, side fabric through, reseating that. And there we go. What else have we been watching? I've been watching this um, while I was cutting stuff out. I was watching or listening to a some acapella show on Netflix. Everyone in it is such a diva. <laughs> I really admire acapella stuff just because I like singing, but I'm shy, so I just, I don't sing in front of people. So that's why I like watching acapella stuff. The sing-off, I really enjoyed the sing-off and I had access to that. Being shy can be so crippling sometimes. Keeps you from doing what you want. And looking forward to getting past the zipper because I will be able to sew so much more quickly when I'm not worrying about a zipper. going to the uh, San Francisco Twitch meetup this this uh, weekend. I haven't worked up the nerve to actually make the meetup account and say, yeah, I'm going. There's still that part of me that's like, maybe, maybe I'll go. I'm not committing yet. <laughs> and I'm antisocial, so that's what I always do. Even if it's somebody that, somebody that I like hanging out with or something that I really want to do, I'm always just like, yeah, maybe, maybe. <laughs> I just can't commit. There's something in me that is just so anxious about oh, um, social situations that I just, I can't bring myself to just say, yeah, let's go. Let's do it. I always need that out. And I'm aware of it, and I'm attempting to work on it. But of course, not very hard. <laughs> oh, most of the bunching is happening here at the end. Hopefully everything just lines up properly. Oh, no, it won't quite. Shit. All right, let's try to bunch this a little more over here. If I keep it exactly where it is, it will line up properly. I can't let it shift anymore. I need to focus to make sure this zipper doesn't get out of control. zipper when I did. I should have waited. This down here. Yeah, 
And there we go. All right, got a zipper in. That works. Not perfect, but when is a zipper ever perfect, right? Ooh, that's gonna be interesting, okay. So I forgot, I did not cut the zipper when I should have. Let me make sure still that it was lining up properly at the top. I think it is. Mm, nearly, I can cut that down. Right. And we cut the zipper down right there. And again, because I'm making this for me and not for someone else, I am a little bit like, eh, good enough. Lay the stitches down again up here because it came out because I cut them. Mm. Back over this side. So I'm just making sure to go exactly over the seam line that I already have because I want to lock those stitches back down. Wrinkly, so I think that I did all right. No, 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 no. We're gonna leave this where it is. And we're gonna move on to something else. I'm totally not finishing this today. I really wanted to, but I don't think it's gonna happen. I got blue things. I got purple things. I got more purple things. So what I'm going to do now is sew the designy bits together. I can go over there. Oh, wait, did I only cut one of these? I did. I only cut out one. Well, that's something for me to do later. sew the hood together while we've got the purple one. I'm going to move the stitch up to four. I'm going to switch back to my other foot. And I'm going to pin it because it's stretchy. I don't want it moving. Which side had the sharpie on it anymore? I don't actually have a paper pattern for this. I've just got all the fabric pieces that I used um, to make the mock up. I just took it all apart and cut out the bits I needed. Nothing frustrates me more than realizing that I'm not as fast as I would like to be. Also, wow, everything's very white over here. It's... Let's move that. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Even if I can't finish it today, I'm sure that I can accomplish quite a lot.
out. And let's get this lined up. Yep, I went around there. I went around the correct side. Just making sure all the ends get lined up because I don't want it shifting and then I have to cut off a whole bunch of stuff. It's never quite going to sit properly if you have to do that a ton. All right. Allowing for a half inch seam allowance. Nope, that is not a half inch seam allowance because the zipper foot is in the middle. And. It doesn't really matter. I could just leave it be. It's less for me to cut off later. All right, we're just gonna leave it. Using a paper like a bot pattern, typically the seam allowance for that is going to be five eighths of an inch. Um, seam allowance is very important. It allows you to finish off your hems. It allows for mistakes and gives you a little bit more wiggle room if you need to extend something. Um, you're never going to be sewing right along the edge, and also by having that seam allowance, things sew together better. They're not going to wiggle quite as much. But if you're making your own patterns. You can use whatever seam allowance you want. I typically use half an inch because it's the width of my zipper foot. And it's easy to line up the fabric at the edge of the foot. to do half an inch so that I could lie the seams flat. Do it. We're doing it. Besides, I do like a really big hood. Oh, but now that's not going to work properly. I should have done half an inch. All right. Now for the exciting world of tearing out the seams. Luckily, I used big stitches. So that's going to be easier to take out. I forgot I've got something that overlaps this. So if I don't do the seam allowance that I said I was going to do, it's not going to work. And this is why seam allowances are important. One of the many reasons why. How are you guys doing? Let me know. I am determined to have a Paco hoodie. And of course now it's getting warm again. So by the time I finish this, it's going to be hot and I'm not going to get to wear it. Just you watch. I did manage to find sweatshirt material at Joann's. I just couldn't find it in the right colors. Uh, is my stream frozen? Yeah. Well, I'm not sure how to fix that. Can you try refreshing the Twitch page over there? No, because my viewers dropped. My viewers dropped, so it might have shut down. I don't know. I have no way of telling. I'll be right back.
right. I have no idea what's going on right now. My computer seems to be lagging, or my husband's computer seems to be lagging. Let me know if you're having any issues. Oh my god. Because my computer over here, it lags just all the time, so I don't know if it's working or not. Trying to pick stitches out of fleece is really hard because it's fuzzy. It doesn't want to work. I think it's working. I just don't know why it's gone all small now. There we go. Let's get this seam out. And then I'll try again. You know what would be smart? Pinning as I go. Let's do that. <sighs> So did anybody have pie for pie day? And I know we did. Sky makes the best apple pie. It's always so delicious. Makes a pretty good lemon meringue too, but we had apple last night. I love apple pie. I'm not sure what's going on with the stream right now. I hope it's working. So, one good thing about at least doing the wide stitch is that I can find the seam in the fleece. Not always easy when you use a thin, a small stitch. Oh, come on now. Oh, dear. Oh dear, there we go. Sort of. What is happening here? I somehow pulled the back thread through the front, I think. Yep, yeah, there it is. You can also tell that I matched up this thread color really well because it's hard to see. Yay me. But luckily if I can get enough of it done, or enough of it out to grab, and then I cut it a few inches down, I can just yank a bunch of the, sti the stitches out for a few inches so I'm not having to go rip out every single stitch. It's just getting that finger hold out without just breaking the thread. <sighs> if you're going to be doing any sewing with a, with a machine, or even by hand, get a seam ripper. You're going to need it. No matter how careful you are, there's always something you're going to need to undo. And if you don't have any way of really just getting in there and getting the individual stitches out, you're going to have a harder time with it. And most sewing machines, probably all sewing machines, do come with a seam ripper. That's handy. Whew. Let's see. So Daredevil, season two of Daredevil goes up at the end of the week. Anybody looking forward to that? I know Sky is. <laughs> I know it was good. The first season was good. I just, I don't know. At the time, I just couldn't watch it. It upset me. Of course, Jessica Jones was even more upsetting, and I watched all of that. It was kind of like a train wreck. You're just like, I can't stop. <laughs> so I'm going to have to watch season two of Daredevil. I forget, I think that Elektra's 
going to be in it and somebody else. I don't know who. But it should be good. Netflix is really doing an amazing job with their ind independent series. I know that season two of Kimmy Schmidt, that trailer went up. I haven't seen it yet, though. I need to watch it. And if you haven't watched The Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, you really should. It was so good. There we go. Almost done. Almost done. And then we can get back to putting things together. There we go. And be careful not to rip a hole in your fabric with your seam ripper. It's a little knife, but you can do that. All right, there we go. There's all that. Let's repin the hood. Position the needle properly. And try again. the start of a hood at least. Ta-da! All right, back in the bag with you. Now, to make some new bobbins. This one's still better. So I've got all the pieces here. And these are going to be the details on the front of the Paco hoodie. See those at all? Maybe? Maybe? No. It's important to me to line this. lined up exactly because Paco, his front, he's he's a critter. He's not perfectly symmetrical, even though I'm sure he is in the game because you cut down on your uh, your assets that way. Alright. So I'm just making sure to get this little bit lined up.
And luckily, fleece is a bit stretchy, so I can move stuff so that it looks more identical. But I'm not going to sweat it if it's not perfect. Did I get the right side check? Probably. And this is going to be on opposite sides of the zipper, so I can only just do my best. Can't do more than that. And if you don't feel like sewing, you could use glue to put these on, but I don't have the glue, so I'm just going to sew them on. I may need to do it by hand. Just a little detail thing. I'd rather not have to sew this by hand. I'm a very slow hand sewer. I'm very inconsistent with my stitch length and positioning. It's that I don't have to hand sew these, you know that's what I'm going to do. I've got my little diamonds too. Fuzzy side up. I probably should have done fuzzy side down, but too late. Sometimes it can be hard to tell which one's the fuzzy side. Anyway, these are the long ones. Ah, they do fit better on the ones they're intended for. I accidentally cut out too many diamonds. You're missing a few. Where did the rest go? Leave my diamonds. Where did you go? And there's not actually too small. lose my own head if it wasn't attached. It goes over there. That goes over there. Pins stay on the table. I just had little diamonds. They probably stuck to something and I haven't seen them yet. I had the right ones the whole time, and they were on the table right next to me. Right next to me. That's usually where I find what I'm looking for.
But it is true that I cut out too many diamonds. It's just that I cut out too many of the light diamonds, not the dark diamonds. All right. So I don't know what that link is. I'm not going to click it. I advise you not to look at it as well because I just don't know what it is. Anyway, it's very rude to put links in the chat without asking permission if I don't know you. I know that Squishy linked something earlier without asking, but I know Squishy. And it was quite obvious that it was from one of the gigantic forums. Okay. So I've got my little detail diamonds there. Which I need to finish pinning before I start announcing what I'm doing. And again, I'm not worrying too much about symmetry and precise placement because I want to stay a little more organic. And I'm just not gonna get symmetry and precise placement. down a bit. One nice thing is about fleece that is that even the light colors don't really show the sharpie through them because it's a thick material. All right, diamonds and then front bits. Let's get one of these placed first. Got this front starburst pattern here. And these do line up at the top and along the edge. That is what they are meant to do. I just realized I'm gonna have a little bit of a problem with the hood. I'll figure it out. I will figure it out. Because the hood is the only seam that actually has to get turned in. And I had not considered that when I was placing my zipper. I'm just getting all these pins in. And actually having this thickness here is going to help the zipper lie better. Help it be a bit smoother. All right. Put some of these points down. I really wanted to finish this today. I am just never as fast as I think I am. But I should finish it this week at the very least. So I guess I'll have to take comfort in that. in. 
So I'm going to be sewing along the edges, probably going to be leaving about an eighth of an inch um, all the way around. And with any luck, I'll manage straight lines. Oh, now it went back to normal. I have no idea what's going on with my Skype and my phone. All bad. All right, starburst. No, from the other side. This, I got this. Nothing to worry about. Oh, except for sometimes that not lining up at all. What the heck? I cut this out of the same thing. Why doesn't it line up? It shouldn't have stretched weirdly, but it seems to have done so. And that is not acceptable for something that's going to have to line up in the front. All right, so that lines up there. Lines up right there. And then it's too long. How? How? Right up there. It goes over there. Now, somehow I ended up with far too much of it. Just so you can see here to let it pass. They're just too different. I gotta fix it. should be okay there. Now much closer to the right size. That's slightly over there. Now for this one. This is super annoying. Super annoying.
There we go. No, all better. Let's try this again. Stuff over here. Why are you making noises? All right. Sean, you realize he's hanging out with you. Has he? Hey, yeah, right here. Adorable. My little Shanks. You're so cute. You're so cute. He's a, he's a bit of a mama's boy. Pin it again. This part can be so tedious. I can definitely see why glue. Today is not going my way. I don't know what's going on, but it's not going my way. And I hope that this doesn't carry over to gigantic cosplay tonight. That's going to be frustrating. It's my day off. I don't want to have problems. I don't want to have problems. I just want to stream and sew and have some fun. But I am very hopeful that this is going to turn out really good. that, then this one. that lined up. Ow. Stab myself. I said it's part of sewing. You're not going to get out of sewing without stabbing yourself at least once. Something cleaning itself. Hey, God, of course you are. I hate that sound. I hate the sound when the cats clean themselves. Oh, hey, God, it's a good thing you're cute. Ow. The more
more annoyed I get, the more I stab myself. Oh, chat, why did you turn off? Nothing is going my way. My chat froze, too. through there we go all right there we go uh to make a ball then stitch and I'm going to move it over, move the needle over and one of the reasons why I'm glad I have a clear foot is that I can keep my fabric lined up even when it's under the foot. a little bit so I just need to push it there we go occasionally if 
fabric just won't feed through properly, and that's when you kind of have to take your time. And reposition things. This is getting close to the edge that I wanted it to, but not worrying about it. sewing it by hand. So one thing to keep in mind when you're sewing two bits of fabric together like this is that you want to make sure things are sitting properly um, so that you don't end up with bubbles underneath you know the two layers of fabric. And there are iron-on adhesives that you can use um, to make sure that everything's nice and flush and it's always going to stay together. I just don't have any. Yeah, it's working just fine. On. <laughs> I need to slow down. I'm speeding up too much. I'm going to get in trouble. So this line quite yet. This is the line that goes along the zipper and I don't want too many seams in the front. I'm just going to pull that out, pull the thread through and knot it in the back. Huh, even using, oh, I'm not on the number four stitch. I forgot to switch it to the number four stitch. Which means I have to sew the rest of it in the two and a half. Otherwise, it's going to look different. Well, I only have to do that for the light blue, and then I'll sew the black, dark blue in the four again. Starting off on the skinny corner is not what I want to do. Don't have much choice. Wonder it wasn't feeding through properly. All right, looks 
that sitting room. through this now. It's four o'clock. I'm just going to knot that initial thread. Because it was on the point, I just couldn't backstitch it. So, just going to knot it. Hiccup, you can stop cleaning yourself now. Thank you. <sighs> My cat. It does. Six more pieces to go. things about felt is that you just don't have to finish the edges or fleece I mean felt too but felt's hard I'm not gonna use felt for something comfy although I will be using felt later for a couple of details yes yeah, Skype turned off oh it's just been one problem after another today are going to be a lot harder than this. <laughs> Ooh, what's also a lot harder is not having a thread with enough room to stitch it. Damn it. I'll figure it out. Thank you. 
<laughs> Making sure I don't sew over any pins. Because the last thing I need right now is a broken needle. And we have one more ballpoint needle. I'm not going back to Joanne's today. done with the tiny pieces. You know, I've got that song stuck in my head, the Mama Said song. Mama said there'd be days like this There'd be days like this I Mama said That's all I've got going through my head right now because so many little fails today. So many minor disasters. And yes, it just took all my courage ever to sing even that one little line on stream. Be kind. <laughs> Getting there. Just the fiddliest pieces left. There's so many little corners, it's really hard to keep track of the pins so that you don't break anything. Last one. into the thing a little bit. Always a recipe for disaster. I'm going to go much farther up the point on this one than I do on the other one. Oh well. done. All right, you guys, this has been an interesting day. <sighs> yep. 
It's been an interesting day. Full of little disasters that are all adding up to making me very annoyed. But I'm going to push through it. I'm going to make a damn good hoodie. So thank you again for joining me. I hope you had a good crafter noon. I'm Heavenly Hedgehog. This has been Bits of a Paco hoodie. If you want to know more about Paco and the game he's from, Gigantic, you can check them out at gogigantic.com. I also have beta keys available if you want one. Just send me a whisper or a message or let me know in chat. I think I'm ready for a break. Um, follow me on Twitter for scheduling announcements. Also, I do have a Discord if you want to talk more about games and cosplay. I'd love to have you join me. Again, that link is right down below. And I will be back to again. To again. That's not a word. I will be back again tonight at 7 o'clock with Gigantic Cosplay, which I'll be hosting right here on my channel. Uh, I'll be hosting them. I'll be on Gigantic Cosplay channel. You get it. You get it. And we're going to keep working on the pattern for Beckett's guns. <sighs> Deep breaths. I'll see you guys in a few hours. Bye.